Well, so we did the warm up so That was before the race, you know. Now after the race, you have to do the warm downs, right? So um, I was having the wonderful experience of taking notes, and there are uh, there are some thought chickens here that I that may be worth paying. I even have a thought elephant. I've never had one of those before. You're getting out of control. I really is true. <laughs> Um, there was one thought chicken that said, what makes busy safe? Mm. That was a gift from Valerio. Mm. What makes busy safe? Uh, not talking versus listening, courtesy of Ryan. Of course, the sombrero, oh. the man in the sombrero. <laughs> All of us guys are going out to buy sombreros now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and the silver-haired lady with the doe eyes. I'm fortunate to be married to a brunette-haired lady with the doe eyes, and so I know who I'm throwing my sombrero to. Woo! Woo! You go. Go, girl. That's very romantic. Um, a question to go home with. Uh, we have chosen to be here. Why? You chose to be here. And I have just infinite gratitude to the people who say yes, because you come into the commons, and Peter and I were talking a little bit on the way up. The thing that really struck me dead center this time was the notion of the commons. And... Um, that we're meeting on the commons. We're taking back the commons in a sense because the commons to some extent have been co-opted. So this becomes the restoration of the commons. And what Peter was saying about language this morning, in a word is a world. And in fact, when we name the world, it comes into existence. And so uh, in the Vedic tradition, it says in, the, in some of the creation uh, hymns, it, it talks about the sages sitting in a circle to name the world into existence. And to name something for what it is means to enter into an intimacy with that thing in order to name it. And what comes from sitting in the circle and naming the world into existence is friendship and community. So community happens when strangers enter the room and are willing to sit together and name the world. And so I was thinking about the restoration of the commons because the notion of transformation or development of things that need to be fixed, we don't need to be fixed, I don't think. I think inherently within us is a kind of a, a perfection that becomes uh, inhibited by stories that don't serve us. And so the restoring restoring the commons, restoring the commons. Um, this is the work that Shanae, who I hope we'll have with us again next year, the narrative therapy, is that, as Sri Gyan said, the world is not made up of atoms, it's made up of stories. And so what's the story that we're bringing into the world, and how is it serving us, and how is it serving the, war, or the world? So in the restoring of the commons, the commons is the, the place where we take the time to find the words to express a possibility that can't be named by anyone else. So the possibility that we all are in this circle can't be named by anyone else. And that's powerful. So for those within the community who show up, what they're doing is bringing the, it's a flowering. It's, the, it's, it's what, what's in the earth here that gets drawn up through the roots. And the people who come from outside the community or from the extended, because there is no outside, from the extended community are bringing this uh, nurturance and the, the, um, the nutrients to this to make this community strong. So there's, a, this, uh, there's an exchange on the commons here that I think vitalizes our lives who are in the community and puts vitality out into the world. 
So there, I really am struck with profound gratitude um, for this magnificent play group. You know, a three-day play date. What a wonderful <laughs> luxury. And um, the gift that Peter and Angelus and Vivian bring it's the confidence to be humble with their gifts. It's the gentle firing of the rockets on the spacecraft as it orients itself towards its destination. It's done with a lightness and a generosity of spirit. I always notice that Peter names the gifts in the room so that we can find them. He sees me, and so I can show up. And so I think one of the things about the education and the educational system, because that's the excuse we have for getting together, but really, we all know, it's really about us showing up in the world. Um, but to, to see, to be curious about the people who show up where we have these roles that we all play. Everybody in this room plays important roles. And to actually see the other person. So the thing that I didn't share, because I thought in some ways it was so obvious that I was a little embarrassed to read it, but um, it's a declaration that I'm bringing a world of greater awareness into being by listening, reflecting, and noticing people's gifts. And that's what I think, Peter, you do for so many people, is you notice their gifts. and. Uh, in that process, there's a, there's a reflection where people suddenly come awake to who they are. And Vivian, your gift of wild humor and your bullets and flowers that just, you, they're not a bandolier, you wear them all over you, you know. Um, but the humor and the wildness to a point is so valuable. And Bob, the gift of music and Sampad, the gift of your music. And you, you're not students, you're our teachers, really. I heard some things come out of your mouth <laughs> where I just went, holy wow, you know, who is teaching who? You know? Amber was instructing us the other night about you have to take care of your physical being, your emotional being, your psychological <laughs> being, and your spiritual being if you want to do good work in the world. And I was seeing this wise woman talking to the elders, going, shape up, guys. You have to get it together now if you want to keep going. So um, as we come to the end, we actually come to the beginning of the next journey where we go out from here, hopefully, with some energy and insight. I always do. But how much you all matter. You're showing up how much it matters. This couldn't happen without you. And this is, this is the commons. And this is the place where we name the possibility that only we can name. And so thank you. And so I want to end with this gratitude and this sense of uh, incredible well-being. because you're here. Thank you.